For 180 years, every physicist on Earth has been wrong about one of the most fundamental effects in optics. And we're only discovering this now. In 1845, Michael Faraday made a discovery that would change physics forever. He found that when you shine light through certain materials in the presence of a magnetic field, something extraordinary happens, the light twists. This phenomenon became known as the Faraday effect. Picture a beam of polarized light, light waves oscillating in one specific direction, passing through a crystal surrounded by magnets. As it travels through, the plane of polarization rotates. For nearly two centuries, scientists believed they understood exactly why this happened. The explanation was elegant and simple. Light's electric field interacts with the electrons in the material, causing them to move in circular patterns, which rotates the polarization. But there was always another component to light that physicists largely ignored in this context, the magnetic field. Light is, after all, an electromagnetic wave. It has both electric and magnetic components oscillating perpendicular to each other. The magnetic component was assumed to be negligible. After all, magnetic forces on moving charges are typically much weaker than electric forces. So for 180 years, it was dismissed as irrelevant to the Faraday effect. Then came Dr. Amir Capua and Benjamin Esoyan from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem's Institute of Applied Physics. They decided to do something radical actually calculate the magnetic field's contribution instead of assuming it was negligible. Using the landau lifshitz gilbert equation, a fundamental equation that describes how magnetic moments behave in materials, they developed a theoretical model that included light's magnetic field interacting directly with atomic spins in magnetic materials. What they found was shocking. To validate their theory, they applied their model to terbium gallium garnet, or TGG a crystal specifically used in laboratories to study the Faraday effect because of its strong magneto-optical properties. The calculations revealed that in the visible light spectrum, the magnetic component of light is responsible for approximately 17% of the Faraday rotation. Not negligible, not even close, but it gets even more dramatic. When they ran the numbers for infrared light, the magnetic contribution jumped to a staggering 70%. 70. The majority of the effect we've been studying for 180 years. Think about what this implies. Light doesn't just illuminate matter or push electrons around with its electric field. Light can exert direct magnetic influence on materials. It's magnetically active. This discovery, published in Nature's Scientific Reports, doesn't just correct a misconception. It fundamentally rewrites our understanding of how light and magnetism interact at the quantum level. And the implications are enormous. In quantum computing, researchers are desperately seeking better ways to manipulate quantum bits, qubits, which often rely on controlling electron spins. If light's magnetic field can directly influence spins, we may have a powerful new tool for quantum control. Then there's spintronics, an emerging technology that uses electron spin, rather than charge, to store and process information. Current methods of manipulating spin states are limited, but light-based magnetic control could enable faster, more precise spintronic devices. Optical data storage could also be transformed. Imagine writing data to magnetic storage media using precisely tuned laser light, exploiting the magnetic component to flip magnetic domains at unprecedented speeds. We're talking about storage devices orders of magnitude faster than anything available today. But perhaps the most profound implication is philosophical. For 180 years, we thought we understood this effect. We had equations, we had applications, we had confidence, and we were missing 70% of what was actually happening in some wavelengths. It makes you wonder, what else are we wrong about? How many other phenomena have we explained just well enough to stop asking questions, while missing fundamental mechanisms right under our noses? Part of why this took so long to discover is that the magnetic effects are subtle and intertwined with the electric effects. Separating them experimentally is extraordinarily difficult. It required sophisticated theoretical modeling to even predict that the magnetic contribution was this significant. The Hebrew University team's work is theoretical, but it provides a roadmap for experimentalists. The next step is designing experiments that can independently measure the magnetic and electric contributions to confirm these predictions in the lab. If confirmed, we're entering a new era of magneto-optics. 
engineers and physicists will need to redesign devices and experiments with this magnetic component in mind. Technologies we thought were optimized may have untapped potential. This discovery is a perfect example of why science never truly settles. Even our most established, textbook-level understanding can be incomplete. There's always another layer, another question, another mystery waiting to be uncovered. Light has been humanity's tool for understanding the universe since the first human looked up at the stars. And after all this time, after all our equations and experiments, light still has secrets to reveal. The magnetic component of light has been hiding in plain sight for 180 years, quietly influencing matter while we attributed everything to its electric counterpart. We weren't looking for it, so we didn't see it. Makes you wonder what else we're not looking for. Subscribe to SciBite Insights, because the universe always has more to teach us.